All right, guys, we're headed out tonight. We're going. This light is super bright. I can't see anything, but we are going predator hunting tonight. Uh, first stop, my grandma has a bobcat running around her house, um, and she's got an old dog that's deaf and blind, so she wants it shot. So we're gonna go see if we can't get on that bobcat, and then uh, we got unlimited other places to go to tonight it's perfect weather it's like 33 degrees um it's been blowing like 30 miles an hour for the past two days so we think they've all been bedded up so they should be moving tonight it's like two mile an hour winds now and uh super cold it's the coldest it's been all year Because he couldn't stop and get me some real food. And it's too hot to eat, so I stuck it out the window because it's like 30 degrees outside. Oh. <laughs> we got toilet paper. <laughs> guys Ethan wasn't filming but I just shot a fox uh, we're here at my grandma's bobcat never came out but got a fox to come in he came in um, about 70 yards and then ran about 250 yards away from us we put on the uh, woodpecker call and came back and shot him about 70 yards right where he first came out so we're gonna go pick him up and then go to the next spot He should be like right here, huh? Alright guys, well we know I hit him. He spun like two or three times and then there was nothing. So we thought he just dropped, but this grass is like three foot high. So we've been looking everywhere. We can't seem to find him, but we got some new friends. This is shotgun, but we're gonna go to the next place and see if we can't get on something else. That sucks that we couldn't find this one. Red 
red for oh, red, that's a red. Oh, oh, dude. That's awesome. Got us a red fox, boys. Started with baby cottontail. Come in about five minutes and just sat down right before this fence. We had no idea it was a red fox. We just got done talking about how we've never shot a red fox around here, and it happened. That is awesome. No fur damage at all. It's gonna make a perfect mount. Yeah, let's go. Black legs. That's getting mounted for sure. Looks like a little female. Right came out of his neck. Yep. Little little hole there, but a white tip on the tail. Judd's gonna flip out whenever we're done that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, weird stink. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. I see why you thought it was a small coat. Yeah. yeah. And I can see why y'all kind of thought it looked weird. I know. I... We don't shoot red foxes around here ever. So this is a treat for sure. So Ethan's gonna let me mount his red fox. Oh yeah. What do you, how do you want him done? Put him sitting on a log. Sitting on a log. Alright guys, we're at the next spot. We came down the road a couple miles. Uh, Heat's on the gun now. See if we can't get a coyote in. I'll try to get the whatever comes in and frame this time. It's just hard in this dark. We'll see what happens. Still pumped about that red fox. That's what's up. Man, I was putting on the stop. I was going to try to headshot him. I know. Doing that. It's cool footage, though. Yeah. Heck yeah. Could you see him good? Oh, yeah. Keep going right. I ain't got no more bullets. How far was he? Uh, he's probably 200 and on a sideways drive. He may have just turned and went straight back. He just shot at another one. He was on the run. He wasn't coming in, but we'll probably drive over there and see if he got him. We're going to go pick this other one up real quick and then go over there and see if we can find that one. about that 243 baby gave him the old Tommy John I think he's he? got much heart left good shot What'd dude you <laughs> cool. pretty young dog you like that yeah you've been eating good good guy let's go see if we can find that other one Well, it looks like a miss, but we had a good night. We had, we got two animals on the ground. We have three animals on the ground, but couldn't find my fox at the first set that we had. But 
this is gonna end it for the night. I'm gonna go put that fox in the freezer and take it to the taxidermist tomorrow. All right guys, made it home. It's like one o'clock. We finished our other day. Heath and uh, Ethan kept hunting, but ended up with nice, beautiful red fox. I'm gonna take her tomorrow to the taxidermist, get her. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Ethan said put her on a stump, so I might just get her put on a, sitting on a stump like she was when he shot her. She was just sitting there. Hey Zoe. Got a couple bobcats. Got two in the freezer already. I still gotta skin out to get mounted. Oh, I don't have room. I don't know if I have room for these guys. I think I'm out of room. I think I need a bigger freezer. Yeah. Good to see you. Y'all don't go yeah. nowhere without them dogs, huh? Nope. Guys, what's up, man? Let's check out this fox. Here at Wild Bill's. It's the next day. We gotta get this bad boy mounted. Just, you don't see a lot of them down here, buddy. Nope. Pretty blessed to have been able to get a nice little red fox like that. How's that head gonna do? Uh, well, this right here, we can repair that. But mostly that's just matted hair and stuff. Yeah. We'll do him, even though you got this some damage there. Most of it's still there, so that'll sew back up. And what we'll do is we'll put him on the wall this way. So that'll be on the back side. So we can you know we can always hide those bad spots and blemishes and blowouts and whatnot. Awesome. Um, I think we're gonna get him like perched on a rock. Per okay, yeah. Because when perfect. he came he came in and just sat down like sat thirty and looked, yeah, sitting just looking. Thirty yards from Very us. cool. Very, very cool. No, that'll be a, he'll make a nice mount. You notice how he smells. Yeah, he smells real bad. Yeah, they, well, that's what they do though. They stink. They just, these are a little, whew, man, he smells like, he smells like almost like a skunk, doesn't he? Uh, it's weird. Pretty stinky. Well, and they're a predator, so they release a chemical in their body as soon as they die, just like a coyote. So nothing else eats them or anything, you know? It's just a, a real, real stink to them. That was my wife calling me there. Somebody answered that one. This is the. back here and. This is where all the magic happens. That's exactly what it is. in the deep freeze in that bag about two days he'll be frozen pretty good and it'll kill all the fleas and any anything that you might have on him alright guys if you're looking for a good taxidermist I know it's everybody's always asking hey who do you take who do you take your animals to who's good who has good prices Wild Bill here in Maypearl Texas is the guy to go to you don't want to go cheap on your animals you want it to last forever that's why you're mounting it is to hang it on the wall and have that memory forever so um, he's not super expensive like a lot of guys, but he's not the cheapest guy either. Uh, he's the guy you want to go to. He does it right. He gets it done quick. He doesn't make you wait two years to get your stuff back. Uh, we do a lot of, um, everything we do is commercially tanned. No, nothing is, nothing is tanned in-house. It's all commercially tanned. And we do, uh, we do a lot of African, a lot of exotic, a lot of, mm. a lot of the higher end pieces. I mean, as you can find leopard, we got working on a lion that a gentleman bought. Um, but uh, a lot of this stuff here in Texas, we do a lot of ranch, a lot of ranch work. We're not, we're not the uh, slap them out guy either. So 